Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to The Witcher 3. We are back here in Grimace's little weird hidey cave hole here. And we need to go and play McGwent after, after I'm assuming he's now sobered up from his wild, wild ritual. Man? I've taught you all I know. Got anything I want to sell? Oh, he's a merchant as well. I do. Is that poison? Is he, sell is he selling poison? Oh, it's, an, it's a respec portion, basically. It's got a lot of stuff, though, by the way. Yeah, he's, he's, got, he's got all the diagrams for all the glyphs and stuff, which is quite impressive, actually. He's actually a very good merchant if you're looking for upgrades. All right, let's play Gwent. Gwent, ever play the game? If your question is, would I be interested in playing you? The answer is simple. No. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> you're afraid you'll afraid lose. Of losing. I understand. Very well. Ah. I drew your deck. When? Stop I saying. Best card. Deck. When? When? <laughs> right. Um. Northern Realms again, as we normally do. He's Nilfgaard. Interesting. So we've got Yen. We've got um. What's? Uh, Esterad Tyson, that's uh, that's his name. Uh, we've got two, we've got two golden troll demons. We only need one. Stennis, that's good. Don't Trenmurf again. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's not bad. We've had better, but I think we can work with that. Let's play Tala. Just first things first. He's a great card, by the way, just because he's so low power as well. That's the only problem with playing spies. Playing spies, you, they just decoy them right back in. Uh, let's play Death Mold. He's always, he's always a reliable kind of fodder card to throw out. Oh, Triss Merigold. Nice. A level 7 melee card's weird. I'm not going to lie. I didn't expect that. Uh, let's put our Gaunters out. Summon, summon the Gaunter Brigade. Ah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Play Stannis. Another t oh, look at all of our heroes. My god, we are doing well for heroes. We got Yennefer, Roach, Natalis, Esterad, and Ciri. Doing very well. Uh, could do that. That, that might make him do something. <laughs> loves, absolutely loves that, doesn't he? Loves it so much. Right, I'll play a trebuchet. Ah, Tebow Agabrecht. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. I'm going to rock with that now, since we don't really have... Cards to make use of the commander sword after this. There's Stennis back again. I'll pass now, since he's, he's got to play another card at least, doesn't he? That's only going to be a one. The young emissary, that's going to be a draw, which means that he wins. He wins via the tie, which is, which is fine. Okay, let's play in. So we can bring one of our cards back. Who do we want to bring back? Do you want to bring Stennis back again? No, Tala. Yeah, we'll bring Tala back so we can get, we can get another two cards. Oh, we've got fucking Sigismund as well. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Well, smash his, his close combat lines a bit. It's a little bit annoying, to be honest, but okay, but since he's done that, I'll just play a Siggy. I'll play a Siggy with very little consequence to myself. Once passed. That's fine. Uh, we're not gonna be able to make it, be able to make use of Dandelion, but it doesn't really matter, does it? We'll win that round. We have a considerable number of advantage for cards now, which is exactly what we're going for. Let's 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 wax Siri out there straight off the bat. 
rain farm. Let's whack Asterad Tyson out. <laughs> brilliant. Van Hamar. Let's scorch those two cards. Come on, buddy, what you got? Sweers. Who the hell is Sweers when he's home? John Natalis. Clearweather, yeah, he is done. He is done and dusted. And we didn't even have to use Vernon Rudge. Good times. You won. I believe you're ready to challenge Madman Lugos. Oh, Lugos, right? I do wonder if he'll agree to play you for his catacan. Oh, we got the mysterious elf card. That is a level. Ah, that's a that's a neutral card as well. Even better. That's a that's a power zero spy, which is pretty much perfect, isn't it? Um. So we can probably just get rid of Siggy. Or do we want it? Or do we want another spy? No, we're gonna get rid of Siggy and we're gonna bring the mysterious elf in. Cause he's just perfect to have. Yeah, that's that that's that's pretty much ideal, I think. Wait, actually, Siggy, uh, how how powerful is Siggy? Yeah, no, we're actually better off getting rid of Stennis. So Stennis is level five, Siggy's only four, so that's that's fine. We'll, and we'll put him in every deck as well, of course, because he is fantastic. Um. Do we just put him in this deck? Because this is because this is this is quite a strong deck to be fair. Yeah, we'll just put him in. We'll put him in. Yeah, just put him in every deck, why not? He is as neutral as ever. Stefan Skell is not a good card, by the way. Like a level 9 spy is just not really good. Uh, right, um, okay, that's that's that done. So we can now play Madman Lugos, and we can play and we can play Crack. So let's let's just focus on that. We might as well. We've we've already been to both of the places where these play, these people reside, so we might as well. I don't think we're gonna find much by riding anywhere either at the moment. So we if we just start riding towards um Kertrolder again. Sorry, Kertrolder. Gotta put the twang on it. Um and then the first fast travel point we come across we'll just we'll just go. Uh we'll we'll use it. I will say, like, we, we seem to have an immensely powerful uh, Northern Realms deck now, like, especially. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, the, 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 the other decks would work pretty well as well. But the amount of heroes and sort of the balance that the Northern Realms deck has is really good. Like, if you play, if you, if you utilize it well, it seems very hard to beat. Especially with the, the amount of spies and abilities it has. It's, it's pretty goddamn good. I must say so. Oh, let's take care of these guys. They're gonna be annoying, aren't they? Ah, the old harpies. Nice. You little shit. Harvey's honestly so disgusting as well, by the way. They're just they're gross all over. Seriously gross. Oh, there's another one. Hey! Get down. Yeah, they're done. Done and dusted. That's all the Harvey's dead. Casually move on from here now. <coughs> Right, playing a lucky day. a bear. I'm far bear in a while. Jesus Christ! Yeah, 
Yeah, they're not the not, they're not the toughest foes in the world anymore, are they bears really? Although there is two of them. I'd say what the toughest bear that I think I've ever fought in a video game. That's very recent, so it might be biased, but it's definitely the Rune Bears in Elden Ring. I don't. I, I, anyone, who, anyone who's played Elden Ring, there's no, there's no need to to, to use the cleave skill there, there, girl. Uh, yeah, anyone who's played Elden Ring, I'm sure, will probably agree with me. The fucking Rune Bears. There we go. That's two more dead bandits as well. <coughs> Yeah, the, the room bears in that game was absolutely nightmare, nightmare for all they were. And I think I think the I think the worst thing about the room bears as well in Elden Ring were, despite how tough they were, and just how goddamn you know such a headache they were to kill. They. They didn't re Take that, you You're dead. <laughs> You're dead? I'm sorry. I shouldn't uh, I shouldn't mock. Where am I going here by the way? Why is why is Care Troll just so awkward to get to? I think going the other way would actually be way better. Uh, in fact I'm just gonna fast travel from this point here from Rogner. <clears throat> yeah. The Rune Bears and Elden Ring just they they just didn't give you anything either. Like they, they they there was so little point to actually fighting them. I think people just kind of put them in for the for the for the lols. At one point. All right. While we're here, let's go and deal with the um, with the armor. Any nice armor here? That looks quite nice. Unvec armor. Yeah. Medium armor. Medium armor. Gonna go to light armor. L light armor is what I'm all about. Kidwenny Gamberson. That looks. Yeah, that's what I'm after. Kidwenny Gamberson. Mountain fog boots. Light armor. Got nice trousers. Assassin's trousers. And then we have the Assassin's gauntlets. Good times, good times indeed. Uh, oh, Unvic Saddle, that 70, 75 stamina. I'm pretty sure Roach already has better stuff on her, but... Right, let's uh, equip our items. Like so, let's get some stuff imbued in there as well. Greater Glyph of Ard, a Greater Glyph of Axie, a Greater Glyph of Igni. And a glyph of Quen. Is that duck quacking in the background, by the way, whenever, whenever I put something in there? It's a very odd noise. I'm... Um, Geralt's just, just jumped in the air, he's so happy. Uh, we need to sell the Verdon. Yep, Matt Gamerson, the shirt. Yep, yep, yep. Uh huh. Any lesser rune stones? Was there loads of lesser rune stones? Yeah, definitely. It's hard to discern which one's the lesser ones when you look at them just on the on this screen. They're not the easiest to sort of pick out. Right, can, can I craft anything? In fact, let me just repair everything first. But yeah, can I actually craft anything? I probably should have looked at this before I um, went and started. Um, what should I call it? Uh, Buying, buying armor, but see, uh, see the enhanced feline armor is there. So, if, so can we make the feline armor? No, we can't. We need a shirt. Oh, we just sold a shirt, didn't we? There we go. So, if we buy a shirt, we make the feline armor, and then we can make the enhanced feline armor. Good times, right? Fare thee well again. So essentially, I've just wasted a lot of money, which which I think is so much me, so much me. There we go. So that's the feline uh, chest piece equipped. Um, anything else I can make? Out of curiosity. 
craft some. That's a, that's a really nice looking chess piece as well, by the way. It's got it's got the little um, thing there. Yeah, I, I quite like that. Gauntlets wise, what we're dealing with. Got the enhanced feline gauntlets, which we can make two. Enhanced feline gauntlets, trousers. They're in the, we've got the enhanced feline trousers, which we just need the regular feline trousers for. We can buy some hardened timber. Enhanced feline trousers. There we go. So we can make, so we've got a full-on enhanced Someone. feline set now. Uh, we just need the sword, don't we? And then we're pretty much good to go. Yeah, full, a full enhanced feline set. Ah, we don't have the boots, actually, which is a bit unfortunate. So you're back. Does he sell boots? Craft. Oh, can he craft boots? It can. I must not have the... Um, no, I must not have the schematics yet. That's fine. Let's go back to what he's got in stock, and let's sell what, whatever we're, we're, we're actually able to. There we go. Yeah, we, we, we've we definitely wasted some money there, but overall it's not too bad. Why have I got so much weight, by the way? Is it because of the amount of... Ah, Roach might have something to do with it. Don't need that stuff. Fucking key to get... Wait, did I s s sell the key to Yennefer's room? <laughs> Oh, that used to be the meme, didn't it? Because the 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 key to Katie Yennefer's room used to be a common item, which everyone everyone was laughing at, it, like because of everyone had one, it's like everyone had a key to go in the end's room. Ah, oh, dear, dear me, it's terrible, really, if you think about it. Let's sell these rune stones and whatnot as well, if we can. Uh, any of the lesser ones, trick labs. There we go. Do these take up? Um, they do take up a bit of space. Not too much, though. Um, right. I think that will do me just fine. Right, let's go and, uh, let's go and play Cracker Gwent. I'm quite, I'm quite happy with this. The, the, the fact that we've actually got a full, uh, a full feline set of armor, anyway. Well, apart from the boots, again. Looks, looks really nice. Looks very nice indeed. Right. Captives. Fucking captives. Literally says they're captives. Oh dear. Terrible really if you think about it. Right, crack. Why why are you just stood here, One crack? Are you okay? Care for a game of Gwent? You ever play Gwent? Ha! Ermion taught me the rules and gave me a deck. Wish to play. And give you a, a deck. Deck. Let's play a quick round. Deck. Please. For the love of God. Okay. Northern Realms is again. He's using monsters, which will hurt. That card will be very useful. Um, Bion Frost as well. I think this is quite good, actually. We'll, we'll use Tarla straight away, because spying is good. Another hero. I got a roach. Ah, we drew another Gontro Dim card, which we didn't really need. But we'll play it, and all of them should all be yeeted onto the field, like so. A drow, eh? Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Uh, we'll play. Play the Dragon Hunter. Grave hack. Let's play... Let's use our Commander's Horn, I think. Just use our Commander's Horn on in this instance. This would be quite quite good, I think. You must drink, son of a bitch. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass. He's, he's, he's gonna have to pull something out of the bag here, too. Ah, oh, you bastard. Fair dues. Fair dues. I'll give you that one. Oh, he's just straight past, has he? Well, I think we'll actually be best served using just one of our heroes here, just to sort of save the numbers. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll just pull Roach out and win. Pretty much best thing to do, isn't it? We don't need to do anything else. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's not good. It's not good at all. Really isn't good, actually, because we only have uh, close combat cards left as well. 
Hey, we do have the two heroes, which are going to be obviously a big help. Um, put Natalis out. A fiend. Put Siri out. If we use Villains of Chenmerth now, that will be a boost. Werewolf. I mean, he's not going to have enough to beat me, surely. That was the most strange tactical maneuver I think I've ever seen. You know what, Wolf? I have this rare card here. Take it. It'll be of more use to you. Thanks. Thank you, Crack. Consider challenging a man in Kertrolder Village. A worthy adversary, though a mere tailor. Justa's his name. Justa. A Draug. Ah, this is, so that's the hero Draug card for the monster deck. Nice. Very nice indeed. Uh, so we can probably get rid of something here. Get rid of a fork tailor, a plague maiden, or a griffin. Um, yeah, let's get rid of griffin. Just put put the put the drag in there. Nice. Okay. Well, so next episode we'll probably go and play either Susta or Madman Logan. It's probably Susta because he's just in the village. But for now, thank you very much for watching, guys. I do hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, then do like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I shall catch you all in the next episode of The Witcher Three. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye bye.